what's going on guys so today we are doing a, another unboxing and as you see here let's first state by all these weapons are unloaded and um, we'll just start with that so as y'all know we've done reviews on the uh, Taurus G2C uh, many a times and done a little shooting with it last week great gun so that being said, we'll set it to the side. Um, I went out and I found the Taurus G2C and the 40 cal. I excited about it and I was like, they had a $30 rebate on it. Um, so I couldn't pass it up. By the way, till May 31st, you can get a $30 rebate, 25 or $30 rebate, depending on which Taurus G2C you purchase. So. That being said, let's open her up and see what's in the box and check it out, guys. So, first of all, this is the G2C40. It's a 3.26 inch barrel and 10 round magazines. So upon opening the box, you have your manual, which we'll set to the side momentarily for a moment. You've got two can't get them out. Two 10 round magazines of 40 caliber and um, this actually looks exactly the same magazine as the 9 with a different follower so that is a possibility but anyway you got two of those in the box so we'll set them there. You get obviously your cable lock that's included. Let's set the box to the side because that's all that's in the box. We'll set it right there. And then you have the um, Taurus G2C. Now, um, so for the sake of comparison, I'm just going to kind of set them, you know, right, say there. So basically, um, this is the 9mm and this is the 40 I've been carrying this gun for six months now. I've had zero issues and I have 3,300 rounds through it. It's never failed to fire. It's accurate. Um, and uh, I love the gun. So that made me want to go out and buy this one. This is the G2C 40 caliber. I'm about to tell you, excluding the caliber, they're identical. And then I'll go over the differences that I've modified. So on this gun, you do have a thumb safety right there. Red is dead, so if you see the red, it's ready to fire. Um, this gun has a three dot system, sight system on it. They are contrast sights. They do offer it in night sights as well. If you can find it, I have not been able to find it. Um, so I'll just put some true blows on there. The rear sight is fully adjustable for windage and elevation, which is really nice out of the box for a budget firearm. Very happy with that. So you have the trigger safety, which is just that little lip that allows the trigger to be pulled back all the way. You also do have this little notch right here is a loaded chamber indicator so when you do have a round in there that flag will actually raise up and you will be able to visibly feel in the dark that you have a chamber in there and obviously in the daylight you would be able to see that um, these guns come apart just like a Glock would come apart meaning you just hold it like that pull these little tabs down on each side and slide it forward this one is new so it's slightly tough so first thing I'll go over is the polymer grip frame and for the sake of comparison I will take apart this nine real quick um, and I'll tell you what I have done differently with these two that I'm going to be doing with this one so this is the stock 40 frame um, it is extremely comfortable I, it's probably the most comfortable gun I own or have ever shot as far as 
ergonomics the grip texture is the stifling is perfect it's perfectly aggressive enough to hold the gun in your hand when your hands are sweating but it does not dig into your hands and that is a huge plus so like that I like that you have a finger uh, I say and it just rests right there and when you're shooting with two hands your thumb rests just in that other one and it's just a, a perfect fit and this gun does not go anywhere in the frame that said my only issue with the stock um, setup on the lower portion of the firearm as you can see is on the 9 millimeter. I have a flat face trigger with no safety on it um, this trigger is from Galloway Precision it's called the Asmund trigger it was 20 bucks and that will be going on this gun as well um, I love this flat outside of the trigger um, there is this is the perfect um, polymer frame for any gun <clears throat> self-defense included one thing that's nice is you don't get um, you know if, if you're heftier like myself I'm a bigger guy um, it's aggressive enough that it gets good in your hand but it won't tear up your love handles or you know your, your stomach if you got a little stomach or whatever um, so beautiful we'll set that to the side right now and we're gonna pull up the um, we're gonna pull up the actual slides of the guns and as you can see visually there is some difference in not in the actual slide but in the um, guide guide rod and um, recoil spring I have to get a drink um, anyways as you can see the two guide rods they are uh, one is black Tron, whatever you want to call it whatever Taurus uses and one is stainless this being the nine millimeter as you can see I do have the the large stainless steel um, guide rod in there versus the uh, 40 cal has a stock Taurus guide rod um, and also if you're looking in there if you look down in the, where the firing pin is you can see that has the stainless steel um, firing pin guide and the stock is this plastic one right there I'll be swapping that out together you can use the 9mm one and the 40 caliber one it is um, identical that is one interchangeable part you can use on either caliber the guide rod um, I have not uh, I know that this company does not make the 40 caliber one so that's disappointing they did say they're researching it and trying to get it one thing I will say about this guide rod is seemingly this cap and this rod here is steel and it looks like the only possible polymer parts would be that's actually steel too right there so unlike the 9 millimeter variant the 40 caliber um, this is a steel guide rod um, so that is a huge plus uh, the four, the nine millimeter version, it, it had a, um, it was polymer. This is all steel construction on the guide rod. So that's one of the things I really can appreciate about Taurus is people had an issue with their guide rod and apparently they must have fixed it, or maybe they've only done it on the 40 cal because it's, you know, uh, it's got a little more stout recoil, but that is a nice nice feature so that's the only difference internally that I've done let's set that to the side and let's put this one back on as well one of the things that I will say um, it's not really one of the easiest guns to do like the uh, trigger for example it is a little tedious it's not something that a do-it-yourself or can't do it just takes a few minutes longer versus like the FN or the Glock. 
Uh, well, Glock is damn near, it, it, it's like a five minute job. Um, so one of the other things to look at is, oh yeah, it's got good, good uh, ejection speed on that, uh, on that mag. So that, that's a plus. It's got good pressure on there to, to release the mag. Uh, when you have the mag in, you've got the uh, pinky extension, which is just, it just, I'm telling you guys, this is a great feeling gun um, all the way around. If I did anything to this and did nothing else, the only thing I would change is this trigger. It's got that Glock style trigger that's, um, it's got the trigger safety here, and then it's kind of angled at an angle toward that. And if you do any uh, long periods of shooting like I do, um, you know, you get 300 rounds in, it starts to hurt your finger. Um, and there's no if, ands, or buts. Now, an immediate um, thing that I, I normally do is I'll take the trigger safety off, and then I kind of smooth it flat. Um, with a Dremel and that takes pretty good care of me but that is the Taurus G2C and 40 caliber stainless steel slide and uh, I'm very pleased with it and I'm happy that I had uh, got it now I do want to go over just one other thing I'm gonna put this back in there because I haven't even cleaned it yet and it's oily would I recommend the Taurus G2C. Well, yes, I absolutely would. I think it is a superb gun and I really like it. Um, and that said, you can get it for I want to say uh, 230 dollars. You can pick the stainless model up for. You can get the black slide for 199. But like I said, you do get a 30 dollar, up to 30 dollar rebate on the gun. The stainless slides are all 30, and I think the black ones are 25. So it's for um, six months now. And I have 3,300 rounds through it, never a failure to fire. It is probably one of my most accurate guns, and I attribute a lot of that to the comfort of the gun when shooting. So, yes, I highly recommend it. If you guys, I appreciate you watching, and uh, I look forward to uh, doing the shooting and range day with this. Hopefully, this weekend will be great, and we can get that done. Guys, if you have any questions, comments, you got anything that you want to know or something I missed in the video, by all means, leave a comment below. Please subscribe. Please share the video. Let's grow the channel. Let's make it happen.